Pam Hainer, a math teacher at Manchester Middle School, had the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to experience zero gravity during a special flight last year. Her amazing experience is translated into a unique chance for her class to understand physics in space, get a glimpse of what it would be like to be an astronaut, and find out just how unpredictable science can be. Northrop Grumman sponsored this as a way to increase interest in students in engineering um, so that they would choose that as a career. They targeted middle schools because this is the time when we can grab them and we want them to see where they're headed with this so that they take the math and science necessary so that if they choose this as a career then they're ready for whatever comes ahead. This was something I had always wanted to do from a very young age and then finally um, it, it presented itself and I saw this as a way to bring the real world into the class. A lot of what we do is um, math in the context of a real world situation. So we're always looking for ways to gather data, display it in some way, and then interpret it. And this gave me a chance to, to bring real, real world into there, into the classroom, instead of some contrived experiment um, that the textbook might propose. Her experience with the zero-G flight really made, helped us see the theories in practice because we could hypothesize what was going to happen before she went up and then when she came back down we could see all the raw footage of what happened and we could pick out like Newton's first law and how that was shown when like they pushed off a wall or something like that. I know that with my students in particular they want to get things right the first time and that's not real life. So often what we try to do is model things going wrong so that they learn to accept that in themselves because that's true science. This experiment um, with the surface tension and the water did not go the way we had planned it to because of the time constraints, but that's okay because then we can still use it as a tool to hypothesize what might happen and then see in real time what actually happened up there in space. The fact that the experiment didn't work didn't surprise me because I failed a number of experiments myself. So uh, I know a lot of things can go wrong with many experiments and other activities. My administration has been very supportive of many of the things that we've tried to do. Um, so that I had professional leave to go actually do the flight on Friday. Monday on in-service day, instead of being here, then I took the show on the road and I went over to Robius Middle to do an in-service with the teachers. It was very encouraging because, you know, you never see any teachers going, you know, hands-on with that kind of stuff, just, you know, teaching students to do, to do it instead. So, you know, Ms. Hayner's whole zero-gravity flight thing was I don't know, it just kind of like set something off because, you know, I really want to do stuff like that too. When they can actually see what it looks like, then they can sort of form what has happened before that in their minds and can see that instead of just reading about it and trying to see, trying to think about what's really going on in there because the words can only say so much, but you can actually see pictures.